Now, this is in the elm family, not the elm genus. So it has some characteristics of elms, right? But then not. So let's look at the form first. You see the dichotomous branching? But Zalcovas stay really uptight. They're, they're very, very tight, tight. Like this, that thing 30 years from now is going to all be fused into one trunk. They don't, they don't arch out gracefully. They don't spread. You remember the, well, there's Chinese elms, that whole row of them there. We are down there. Uh, these end up with, they just look like a green meatball on a stick. They don't get arching out. But internally, you can pick these out even driving by by seeing that. The very tight dichotomous branching. They don't angle out very far. So it does have that. The leaf is a good characteristic in that it's rounded over teeth. They're pushed down. It's not that they're blunt. There's a tip on them. But they're pushed down. Like that would be a really crappy saw. <laughs> You'd be like, oh dear, what did you do? Try to cut metal with this? You know? And it's all, they're pushed down. So they're bent down teeth. They're like long and curly teeth. So they, uh, they you, certainly the, the leaves are a good a good feature on it. And you know, that's, that's it's a little elm-like, but not, not so much. They're pretty symmetrical too. Then the, uh, uh, the twigs. Yeah. Well, okay, kind of zigzagging, right? Yep. Uh, but in the winter, people see these very distinct buds. They come out almost like blunt little thorns, don't they? Very sharply out, like, what is that? Probably 60 or 70 degrees. 60? Then in, in the winter, I've had people walk up and say, does this have thorns all over it? I'm like, no, those are actually the buds. So there's that, right? That's good. And then the bark, it's a little bit like the Chinese elm. But what this doesn't do is the real intricate shapes. These, these are more splotches. It's not, it's, no, it's not as discreet, you know, how those ones looked over there. But superficially, you know, you could think, oh, is it that? It doesn't do it as pretty at all. <coughs> it gets splotches of, of orange uh, on its gray. The lenisoles are mostly horizontal, and you saw them on the other one. They go in the intricate pattern of the of the shape, so that's different. Uh, this thing, I mean, look what it's growing. This, this is one tough little street tree. Okay, it's got a good good street reputation, tree. but for doing well. <laughs> that's street tree. But it doesn't it doesn't have a good reputation for being you know the graceful elm. Okay, they thought like when. What happened with uh, American elm was a Dutch elm disease uh, decimated. Uh, that, that's a disease that came in from the Netherlands, and so hence the Dutch elm disease. And it's a fungal disease, and it plugs up the xylem on American elm. So they were looking for a nice replacement. Like, is any of your city where you grow up, anybody have an elm street? Yeah. We gotta, yeah. yeah. You, you, Sorry, but you don't know for sure. But and then what I always then ask is, are there elms? I always say, are there elms on your elm street? And people will go, no, there's sugar maples on. Yeah. And I'll say that's because they cut all the elms down when they died from Dutch elm disease. Um, and they thought like this might be a replacement. Now it's a good urban tree, but it's not ever going to be an American elm. It doesn't. It doesn't spread out enough. The fruit, we haven't found any, and this is the third day of looking, but you have to trust me. Look at it on the DVD. I clicked through them. There's some good, before I just came out of it, there's some great pictures of it. It kind of looks like a green praying mantis head, just the head, almost that size. It's tr green, flat triangle, and even, you know, the mandibles, the mouth parts on a praying mantis, mm -hmm. part, the scary part, yeah. it even kind of has that. It's the old female parts sticking out, and it kind of looks... Like a praying mantis head. Nothing like the elm fruit. <laughs> okay, needless to say.